Hi and welcome back to One Woman Circus. My name is Christina and today we are going to talk about a couple of ideas that I have um, that you can make that are crochet items for Easter. Um, so to start off, if you go to the dollar store, well at least where I'm at anyways, um, or I don't know about dollar store because I know there's Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, I think Dollar General, there's a few different ones. I think there's one um, in the southern part of the U.S. that's called like Below, well, Five Below. I always thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> they don't have that where I'm at up here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, but they have plastic eggs and they're pretty big. They come in different sizes. Um, and I believe the ones that I have right now are six to seven inches. And then yesterday I actually just found um, larger ones that are 10 inches. So I will show you. My first idea out first though. That way I don't give it away. But yeah, I just this is the I think it's like seven, six or seven inches. So this is the first one. So my idea is to make anything small. Um so for this one, there's a chick. And you just set it in like that. And then perfect for Easter. So there's the crochet chick and I will put um, the Etsy, the pattern that I got for it down below. Um, that way you can see it. It's originally for a penguin, but if you just do uh, yellow instead of the black and white and then don't do the head cap piece of it, um, you'll be completely fine. It's actually easier. Um, so it looks like a penguin, but if you just do it in the yellow instead, it can be a chick. So this one fits in there and then another idea I had which I thought was fun was the egg and I can put that sorry for the glare I can put this I'll put all the patterns down below um, that way in case you want to check them out I got all of them from Etsy so this one was really fun and my other one was for a peep I've actually already sold four of these and it's only was today March 6th um so I already have four of these sold and my idea is so and same with these ones and all the ones I'm showing you is I'm going to be putting the Easter grass in there and then um I'm gonna make it optional to add candy I know some people don't like giving candy their, to their kids um but some people do so I'm giving that as an option as well and then so yeah here's the peep and then you just stick it in and just like that. And then the person I had that got the four, um, she did order it with candy. So I'll be adding candy to it. And I have, I think one and a, one and a half of those done of the four right now. So I'll be finishing those up this week and I'll probably put a short on here of those as well. And then the other one, is going to showcase the big 10 inch one. So, and sometimes they're kind of hard to close. So when you do close them, if you have to ship them or anything, I would suggest that you tape them um, on the sides. Like you don't have to do anything all crazy, but just like a little slip of tape so it doesn't move here. But I will show you an example. So this is the 10 inch, you can see it's huge. But the bunny that I have, fits perfect in there. And then there's a bunch of other things that I have also that fit well in there. Um, the Minion I have fits in there. The Winnie the Pooh here, I'm pretty sure he fits in there. But yeah, if, if you make a little character or anything, you can always put it in there. I'm also gonna add grass if the people um, want grass in there just to have it fun. I wonder if, you see my Yoda that I made? <laughs> He might actually oh he does fit in here cool beans look at that how fun is that like i said it takes a minute to get the darn thing to close because <laughs> you have to light it up just right but once you do yeah i would suggest taping it just a little thing of tape on each side and should be fine isn't that cute so it's a 10 inch egg 
And yeah, it fits a bunch of stuff. This one um, I found fit a lot of the fruit that I made. So um, on previous video, you saw like the apple and the set of blueberries that I made. Those fit in here. Um, the minion, I think I might have already said that, but yeah. Isn't that fun? So I just thought something like that. Um, the peeps are already selling well. I've had an order for that already. And I think that's all I'm gonna do just because I'm so new with all of this and I don't want to get overwhelmed and I don't want to do too much because I am only one person so we can see how much I can handle. <laughs> but I'm doing okay so far. Um, I've had a couple orders since my last video. I just got done on Monday doing an order for somebody that ordered three different items. Um, so it was a fox, a cow, a teddy bear. Uh, the cow still remains to be my top seller. I think I've sold by now it's probably up to six or seven of them. Um, I just got another order for one this morning and then I have somebody that's wanting me to make stitch. That'll be my first time making stitch so I'm excited to do that one. And yeah, I've been just doing orders for people. Um, the teddy bear was a new one that I hadn't done but when I did it with this last one I actually really liked the way that it turned out. And I am hoping to place a big order um, all this down here is all that I have as far as yarn and I want to be able to have a big not huge range of colors because I think what I have is pretty decent but just more of each color um, because I'm starting to see that I'm running out of stuff and I don't live close to stores that carry the type of yarn and the ones I do, it's not always guaranteed that they have the color that I need. Uh, like I said, the cow is my big seller so far, and that's black and white. And so I am going to be making, hopefully, a big order with Premier. Uh, well, for me, anyways, it's a big order. And I know for black and white, at least, I'm going to be making, uh, I'm going to be ordering. They have where you can get the Parfait Chunky same exact yarn that I use but in a cone so it's like cone shaped and it's tw it says it's 20 skeins in the one cone and it's only 20 bucks so I mean that's a dollar so I'm saving right yeah it's a lot up front because it's the big cone and it's a lot of it but I'll be saving in the long run a lot um, just because of uh, it's supposed to be 20 skeins and 20 dollars so that's a dollar each one so I'll be saving a lot right there just with that and those are my most common colors to use so I think that's a good idea for me to do yesterday I placed an order to get I'm so excited to get um a shelving system so I won't have just this little bit of shelf room here <laughs> it's gonna be a bigger one and I will make a video on that and show me setting up and what that all looks like and everything and I'm super excited about that but yeah, that's all that's going on right now. Um, nothing too crazy, just trying to prepare for Easter. Um, and yeah, sorry, my video cut me off right there for a minute. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have um, anything else right now. Um, I'm just gonna be working on a couple orders and I will post those shorts to show you what I have um, in the next couple days or what I've made. And those peeps, watch out for those peeps. Those are so fun and easy to do also. So any beginner um, crocheter or amigurumi person that wants to have an easy thing for Easter, I definitely highly recommend that. And everyone have a great week and like and subscribe if you like this video. Have a good day. Bye.